Welcome to Now is the Time for Miracles. We're seeking through this medium to bring God's plan and purpose for your life. Now is the Time for Miracles is presented by Channel of Love Ministries, a frontline, cutting edge ministry endeavoring to obey the biblical mandate to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Now is the Time for Miracles. Host and teacher is the evangelist Joan Pierce, who along with her husband Marty is committed to the proclamation of God's Word, touching lives, saving souls, healing hearts. Now is the Time for Miracles. Be blessed, be inspired, and be changed. Here's your host and teacher, Dr. Joan Pierce. Welcome to Now's the Time for Miracles. We have a guest on our show that's been on our show before, and um, he's getting to be a regular on our show. So we're going to talk to you today about how the Holy Spirit helps us in walking in miracles. And uh, Jerry, I've known Jerry for so long. Jerry, how long have we known each other now? About 25, 30 years. And we got started by doing miracle services together. Exactly and seen some supernatural, awesome miracles. Exactly. Uh, tell us one of the miracles that you've seen just, you know, in the years of your ministry, that just to our audience. There have been so, so many ministry miracles that um, I think uh, there are so many. I don't know which one that would be um, best to talk about, but I think maybe what I'd like to say is, is that when we decided to go into ministry, I had a very wonderful job. I was making a lot of money to the point that my wife did not have to work. I have six children. That means we're eight. Right. That's a big and, family. Yeah. And um, uh, I was going to go into ministry full time. That meant leaving that good paying good old, job. Good paying job. And uh, to work in faith. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we, we had been living in faith, but now we're talking about completely living in faith, completely mm -hmm. dependent on faith. Right. And so um, one of my um, friends suggested that I get up my family together and um, sit with them and tell them that from now on, this is what to expect. Right. Because it's not just you in the ministry, it's the whole family. And they need to somewhat get an understanding because they can get very bitter. Right. Well, uh, we were sitting down. I had all the children there and my wife, and I thought that was a good idea to, to get the whole family involved in. I started to explain to the children that we weren't going to have a paycheck on Friday, that everything was, we were going to have to learn to live on faith. Well, to my kids, that was a very scary moment. To and people nowadays, it's a scary moment. <laughs> because right. we're, ta we're talking about no sources. Right, no uh, sources of income. Well, I had um, an office space that I was renting. Mm -hmm. I was uh, ministering over 40 hours a week. And uh, the biggest offering we had had was $135. And that's exactly what the rent was. You know, that doesn't that mean long time ago. car payments, house payments, or anything else. Right. And so, uh, but I really had uh, been um, pricked in my heart with the Lord about going into ministry full time. Right. I was working 40 hours, uh, my regular job, and I was working 40 hours ministry, so one had to give. Right. So anyways, my children are sitting down, and I tell them about this, and one of my sons um, begin, my son Wayne, he begins to uh, really start to cry. Um, uh, I, I, I want a bike. We're, we're not going to get a bike. And I says, well, I says, you know, it's not like we're going to get money out of my pocket, but I believe that God uh, will answer all of our prayers, including getting a bike. All the kids started to cry. Oh, no, Jerry. It's all oh, six yeah. of them. <laughs> I was completely disappointed because I didn't expect that at all. Oh, my goodness. And so they all started to cry, and they said, where are we going to get our bikes? Oh, you know? no. I mean, they're, they're talking about home now. We're not talking. <laughs> so um, anyways, uh, I said, look, why don't we do this? Uh, let's believe for those bicycles, bicycles, six bicycles. Six bicycles. Yeah, yeah, that was a big thing at the time uh, for me to believe for. The very next day, I get a phone call. This lady calls up. She says, my husband has just been sent to another state for his job. We have to move tomorrow, and we just can't move everything. I have some bicycles. Could you, your kids use the bicycles? Oh, my goodness, Jerry. So anyways, they, they bring the bicycles over. They're as 
five bicycles, not six. Uh oh. And they fit everybody but the one son that wants son the bike. That wanted, wanted the bike. Well, he was disappointed. Of course, he didn't want to cry in front of everyone, you know, but he was extremely disappointed. So he left the, the driveway and he was walking down the hill. All of a sudden, his friend on his bicycle is riding down and he's yelling, Wayne, 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 stop. I got to talk to you. Of course, Wayne doesn't want to talk to anybody. He's upset. He's upset. And so, I mean, God forgot him, you know. So anyways, he goes to him and he says, my dad just bought me a brand new bike and he told me to give you this one. And that was the bike he wanted to buy. Oh my goodness, how wonderful. Yeah, and so from there on, we, we received all kinds of miracles uh, to support on, uh, our, our family. Right. And I think so, those are some of the better miracles, miracles to, to believe for. I mean, there were simple things sometimes. I remember one time getting up, and Monica and I, it was a Saturday, and it was nice and bright. I mean, I can remember like yesterday. And uh, we had nothing in the fridge, serious nothing, except for, you know, ketchup. Oh, right. Mayonnaise, yeah, can't make a pickles. meal on ketchup. No, 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 we had two eggs. That's it. And uh, for eight people, that's not enough. And so my wife was... Um, looking at me and she says, well, maybe we can be quiet until noon. Maybe they'll sleep later and we can just <laughs> wait and see what we can do for noon. And she says, if I only had some flour, uh, we, we're French and so we make French crepes instead right. of pancakes, uh, I could make some crepes. Bang, 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 bang on the door. Now I'm still in bed. I dress up, I go to the door and there's this lady blushing and she says, I've never done this before. I got up this morning and God told me to go to the grocery store and buy you this five pound bag of flour. We yeah, had crepes. Yeah, and by the end of the day, we had groceries. 